Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew Lee, and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Seven Family. The portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Psalms, chapter 97, verse 10, from the New Living Translation, as well as the Passion Translation, and it reads as follows. You who love the Lord hate evil. He protects the lives of his godly people and rescues them from the power of the wicked. And the Passion Translation reads, Listen, you lovers of God, hate evil, for God can keep you from wrong and protect you from the power of wickedness. Family, isn't that portion of scripture so true? And speaking about the the core of what God wants for us as Christians, what does it say there? You who love the Lord hate evil. Now, in the New Testament, Jesus gave us as Christians the greatest commandment, the commandment of love, to love the Lord our God with all our heart and to love one another as we love ourselves. So if we love the Lord and if we love one another, we're not going to love evil at the end of the day because when we do evil things, we're doing evil things against the Lord we're doing evil things against others and we're even doing evil things against ourselves at the end of the day. So if we're walking in the the royal law of love, we will, as the, the scripture says there, hate evil. If we love the Lord, we will hate evil. We will flee from evil. And that's what we must do, family. The Bible says that we must submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from us. We must flee from evil. And as we flee from evil, evil will flee from us as well. And it goes on there to say, he protects the lives of his godly people and rescues them from the power of the wicked. And that's so true as well. As we pursue God, as we flee from evil and run to the Lord and walk in love, we will walk in the fullness of that where God protects us and and rescues us from the power of the wicked. He protects us from difficult times. He protects us from difficult people. As the Passion Translation reads there, he keeps you from wrong. He keeps you from falling into snares and wrong traps and keeps you from evil. But the core and the key of what we need to do here is to love the Lord and to hate evil, to flee from evil as much as we possibly can. And unfortunately, when it comes to things like addictions, you can hate that addiction all you like, but when that temptation comes, do you really hate it as much? Do you really flee from it? So in instances like that, it's difficult to flee from it, even though you may hate it. But what is it saying there? As we love the Lord, as we pursue the Lord, he will keep us from wrong. He will help give us the strength that we need to be kept away from that wrong, to stop falling into the trap, for us to have the strength that we need when that temptation comes knocking on the door, to stay away from it. And it goes on there to say, to protect you from the power of wickedness, or as the other one says, from the power of the wicked people. And that's so true as well. You know, we can love the Lord. We can pursue the Lord. We can hate evil and flee from evil and do all of these things right. But the fact of the matter is we live in an evil, corrupt world and there are evil things going on around us. However, if we're loving the Lord and pursuing the Lord and keeping ourselves clean of evil family, he will rescue us and protect us from the power of the wicked. Even though they may be doing their evil, wicked things around us, it will by no means harm us. Why? Because we're walking in the divine protection of the Lord family. And that's an important thing that we need to do as well, is we need to walk in the divine protection of the Lord. The Lord wants to protect us, but we need to put our faith in him to protect us and believe that he will protect us. And that is what activates his protection in our lives. But if we try to protect ourselves and our own strength from these evil, wicked people and their evil schemes, we're going to fall flat. We're going to fall short. But if we put our trust in the Lord, he will protect us from those evil things. He will keep us from doing wrong. So I want to encourage you, family, going forward to apply the principles being spoken about in this portion of scripture. If you want to be kept away from wrong, if you want to be protected from the evil plans and schemes of people that are going on around us, apply the principles that's being put forth in this portion of scripture, that we are to love the Lord and hate evil, that we are to walk in the royal law of love, that we are to hate evil and to flee from evil. And as we do this, the Lord will give us the strength to be kept from wrong. The Lord will protect us from falling into traps and he will protect us from the evil plans and schemes of the wicked people around us. But we need to do our part and that is to love the Lord and to hate evil family. So when we apply the term and condition of loving the Lord and hating evil, we will walk in the fullness of the promise that we will be protected, that we'll be protected from doing wrong, from falling into wrong traps, and we'll be protected from the power of wickedness and the evil schemes and plans of people going around us, family. So I want to encourage you to do just that. Thank you, family. I hope this message has blessed you and encouraged you and given you some food for thought. And before I end, I'd just like to close and pray. 
Father God, we come to you in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for this day. That this is the day that you've made and we can rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you for your word and the advice in your word, Lord. And I pray, Lord, for each and every single person listening, myself included, Lord, that you will help us to apply this in our day-to-day lives. Lord, Lord, we all want to walk in your divine protection from the evil people and wicked people around us, Lord. And we all want to be kept from, kept from wrong, kept from falling into traps, kept from falling into sin and temptation and all these kinds of things, Lord. So I pray, Lord, that you will help us to apply the term and condition by loving you, Lord, and hating evil, by fleeing from evil and running to you, Lord, by submitting to you and to by resisting the devil so that he will flee from us, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that as we apply these principles, we walk in the fullness of the promises. We will walk free from evil, free from sin, free from falling into traps, and we walk free and protected from the plans of wicked and evil people that are around us, Lord. And we give you alone all the praise, the glory, and the adoration. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the content of the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to help us spread this message and to get it out there to your friends and family so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the content of this video. And I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every day of the week at 7 a.m. Central African time on the Evangelist Matthew Lee Facebook page, as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watched this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal and savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watch this message and were blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry or to partner with us on a monthly basis, I'd like to ask you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says given. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our snaps and QR code. And lastly, I'd just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you, family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless.